Hey there, my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today, Today I'm going to be doing my October TBR, but before we go ahead and get on to the books, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell icon so you can be notified every time I post new bookish content. I post new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday and sometimes other days throughout the week. Also, don't forget to check down in the description box below for links to all of my social media, my Buddy Read Discord, and my Patreon, where you can be entered into winning book giveaways from me. So normally in the month of October, I really like to read books that have creepy, spooky type feel to them, as well as like dark forest type feels. So let's just go ahead and get on into them. The first one is a book I know I will get to because I'm currently reading it, and that is The Near Witch by Victoria Schwab. This book was her first ever published book. I think it was published in 2011, and then it was unpublished, and then once she gained so much popularity, they decided to republish this book, and it's one of the only V.E. Schwab books that I haven't read, and it's perfect for the spooky October season because it follows a girl named Lexi, and she lives in this town called Near, which is secluded from the rest of the world, basically, and it's situated in the moors. I'm assuming like an England type uh, setting and there's also this dark forest where these witches live but Lexi sees this stranger this phantom like being one night staring out of her window and as soon as this stranger arrives children go missing so everyone's blaming the stranger and there's some history some darkness to the stranger and she decides to team up with him to figure out who's taking these children and then there's also this fabled near witch that is supposed to be evil and no one really knows if she exists or not so Lexi has to determine if the fables surrounding this near witch are actually real and if she has something to do with these disappearances. I'm absolutely eating this book up. I'm loving it. V.E. Schwab's writing is so pretty. It's a really easy book to read and I can't wait to find out the mystery of this story. Next, I'm going to be reading The Vampire Lestat by Anne Rice. This is the second book in The Vampire Chronicles, and I didn't realize how thick this book is. And it took me a while to get through Interview with the Vampire because her writing is, I don't want to say it's hard to read, but it, it stops you to make you think. And I know that this book is probably going to be the same, and these editions, like the type is really small, so this will probably take me a long time to get through. I did put a hold on this book at my library. Um, and it does actually have chapters. Okay, that's good because Interview with the Vampire did not have chapters and I was like, that's gonna be really hard to reconcile the audiobook with the physical book if there's no chapters, but it looks like this one does. Um, but this follows Lestat. So in Interview with the Vampire, we followed Louis' story and just based on how Interview ended with what Louis saw regarding Lestat and his, I guess, current condition, we're following Lestat's story moving forward. I wasn't a huge fan of Lestat. I don't think he's a very engaging character, but I feel like he's going to have a lot of character growth, um, kind of like an anti-hero maybe. And Anne Rice has beautiful writing, so I'm super pumped to jump back into this world. Next, I'm going to be reading Bridge of Souls by V.E. Schwab. This is her middle grade Cassidy Blake series. Cassidy is a ghost hunter. This is book three in the series. In the last two years, I have read one of these books around the Halloween season, so I figured I might as well make it a tradition and read a uh, Cassidy Blake book, you know, every single October for as long as she writes them. And this was gifted to me by one of my subscribers a couple years ago, so I'm excited to finally get to it. Um, but this book takes place in New Orleans. So Cassidy has been at a different location every one of the books, and her parents are ironically ghost hunters, and they have this TV show. And a couple of years ago, Cassidy had a near-death experience, and ever since then, she's been able to see ghosts. And every single book, she like comes up against an evil ghost and has to defeat them. But in this one, like I said, we're taking place in New Orleans, which I can just imagine is going to have a super creepy setting. Victoria Schwab is such an atmospheric writer, and the atmosphere is one of the favorite parts. Uh, for me of her books and in this book she is fighting a messenger of death so I don't know what that's going to look like I don't know if it's going to be a ghost or it's going to be just an evil demon type being but that is the antagonist so these books are super cute and super quick to get through and I'm excited to see where Cassidy is going to go next. Next we have my thriller book which is The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. In this book, we're following a girl named Alicia, and Alicia is married to this very famous, prominent husband of hers, and one day he comes home from work, and Alicia shoots him five times and kills him. After the supposed shooting, Alicia does not say anything else. I'm assuming that she's been tried or she's on trial. And then we're following this criminal psycho analyst, and he is 
going to try and get Alicia to talk and to figure out the exact events that occurred surrounding this murder and why she's not talking or refusing to say anything. So this is probably the book that I'm most anticipating because I've just heard such good things about it and I feel like October is like such a great time to read a thriller, especially one that sounds creepy and has a creepy cover. So stay tuned for my review. And the next book I'll get to only if I have time, and that is For the Wolf by Hannah Witten. This is a Red Riding Hood retelling, and the reason that I wanted to read it is because it just screams fall and October vibes to me. But in this book, we're following Red, and she is a second daughter, and she lives in this country town called the Wilderwood. And I'm assuming that she's some sort of nobility, maybe, because second daughters are rare, and second daughters are sacrificed to the wolf. And the wolf actually isn't a wolf, but he's a man. And Red has to go basically submit to the wolf. But what she learns upon going to be with him is that he has magic, she has magic, and he's actually protecting the Wilder Wood from these evil forces that are trying to destroy it. And then Red has to learn how to manipulate and control her magic in order to protect the Wilder Wood. It actually sounds a lot like the book Uprooted now that I'm saying the synopsis, but this is the first book in a series and I love retellings. It sounds like a very different spin on the traditional Red Riding Hood retelling, so hopefully I can get to this. Okay, you guys, that is it for my October TBR. Let me know in the comments some books that you're reading in the month of October and I will see y'all in another video soon.